right now they're, they're trying to find a way to win this thing. Pass back to throw it. On third down, ball is tipped, and it's going to be intercepted by the Delta Devils, and that's going to do it. The pass is intercepted there by number seven, Kenneth Martin. Happy for them, again, uh, that ball just sailed. Great defensive effort tipping that ball up. Again, he had a, he had a man open just... Overall, Mark, we mentioned at the top that it's been over a decade since the last time they won four games, and here they are again to close it out. Yeah, just give me some of your final thoughts on this because it was just an incredible win for Mississippi Valley. Yeah, I think. Uh... Nope, not gonna happen. I'm not gonna let it. We are not gonna act like this didn't happen. Before I go any further, I want to applaud Coach Vincent Dancy on the outstanding work he has done with the program down in Indiana, Mississippi. All right, we're back. The college football season is just is just weeks away, and tonight we profile a program, the Delta Devils of Mississippi Valley State, who are led by a former Jackson State standout. The Devils of MVSU are the true underdogs of the SWAC. Some of their best recent seasons were in 2012 when they won five games. Their last winning season was in 2006. But going into this year, they're led by defensive lineman Jerry Gardner, who had nine sacks and three forced fumbles in 2019. Running back Caleb Johnson will also be a key part of their offensive attack. The Devils haven't won more than two games in nine years, but former all-swack defensive back for Jackson State, Vincent Dancy, who is entering his third season, believes this year could be the year everything changes because of one word, continuity. And I have all my players returning, you know, and the transfer portal has been uh, very, very, very rugged to a lot of people, but all of my players decided to come back returning. You know, 10 starters on offense, all 11 coming back on defense. So, man, I'm excited for the players. I'm excited for what we're doing around Mississippi Valley State campus. Uh, Going to be a lot of eye-opening things that, that that I think fans will be excited about. So, uh, and plus the expectation level. The expectations are high going into my third season, man. Um, so I feel good about it and, and, and ready to get this season underway. He had all the odds stacked against him, and his program was projected to be last in the SWAC. But quite the contrary. They have the same record as SWAC Blue Blood programs, Grambling State University and Southern University. After a season like this, he could have easily left the program and jumped on board as a coordinator at a Power 5 school, but he chose to stay. The fourth-year head coach is now under contract until the end of the 2023 season, and the school is happy to have him. This is what they had to say about it. We are so thankful that Coach Dancy has agreed to a new contract to continue to move our program forward here at Mississippi Valley State University. During his time as head coach, he's really made a difference in our growth and continuing to build our program, said Mississippi Valley State President Gerald Briggs. So we are thankful and we are really looking forward to the coming years for our football program, continuing to be competitive and continuing to grow. And as we all do, we want to make sure that Mississippi Valley State University stays in motion, end quote. While I'm giving props to everybody else, I want to give props to myself because. I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas. Y'all thought I was playing, but I told y'all niggas. It's funny that people are acting like they don't see this. I said this in my video a while back that Valley was going to shock some teams. I was talking about from a recruiting aspect. I had no clue that they would be the team that was going to play for a chance to win the SWAC. You heard that right. Valley beat the Prairie View Panthers over the weekend, 24-19. This is the same Prairie View that is scheduled to play Jackson State on December 4th for the SWAC Championship. Valley is definitely moving in the right direction. They just finished the season on a two-game win streak. The future is looking a little brighter for the Delta Devils. Now, if only they could get more contribution from their alumni to upgrade their facilities, more students showing up to the games, and a decent recruiting class. They will be scary. Think about it. No offense. But all of this was done with very little talent. Thanks for watching the video. If you made it to the end, type in Stop Sleeping on Valley in the comment section. I want to hear y'all's opinions. Do you think that this is a fluke season for Valley? Or are they on the come up for real? If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, leave a like, and a comment. We're on the road to 10K. From us, over here at HBCU Spotlight, Rooting for you, Coach Dancy, and looking forward to see Valley shine on the field. We out of here. Peace. But uh
swag coaches. You you know what, man? You you know who's one of the best coaches in the swag that does not get the recognition is Coach Dancy. It's Coach Dancy down down uh, Mississippi Valley, man. The resources that brother has, like thereof, like thereof, a support in the job that he's done this year, man. Please, let me tell you something. I'm at least cut the ankle off my man and send it to him because he he coaching his he coached his butt off this year. And everybody that played against them, it was a physical, tough game, and it was some casualties at the end of the game because his boys are physical. They're well coached. Um, they're oh, they're tough, hard nosed, and you gotta you gotta go take the game. They're not gonna give it to you. You gotta go take it. So much love, the coach Dancy man.